What up free bosses? In this video, I'm gonna show you a sales funnel that I'm currently running where I'm building five assets all at once. And these five assets are a Facebook Messenger list, Facebook custom audiences, an email list, a Facebook group, and then also a YouTube subscriber list. So let's jump into it. Okay, so this is the very first page of the sales funnel. So this is the page that all of my traffic is being driven to. Now, what this page talks about is it's pitching my free mini course. Now I've created a free mini course inside of ClickFunnels, and this mini course has a lot of educational videos and stuff like that. It's completely free, and how I'm getting people to opt into it is by getting them to click this green button right here. So there's actually a couple different green buttons. There's this one, there's that one, there's my story, there's a green button there at the bottom. So when they click on this big old green button right here, they're being sent this message. Now this is coming to them from Minichat. So Minichat is a third party software. It allows you to build your Facebook subscriber list, very similar to like a MailChimp being able to build your email list. Minichat is awesome, I highly recommend them. But basically I'm using a growth tool that is a special link. So anybody who visits that link is gonna be sent a Facebook message. This is the message that they're gonna receive right here. So what I'm saying is, hey, I've got this mini course. Let me go ahead and send you a private, unique sign-up link where you'll need to click on this link in order to be able to create your free account. So I have a really solid excuse for being able to get them to click on that button, be able to send them this private link. So you, you wanna have a great excuse for being able to deliver whatever it is you're trying to deliver. And I'm delivering it through a Facebook message. And when they click, when they get this Facebook message, they're then opting in to my actual Facebook Messenger list. So they opt into my list by clicking that get started when that Facebook message comes to them. So when they get this message, they're gonna click on this button right here at the bottom. Then they're gonna be brought to a sign up page just like this. So when they're brought to this sign up page, this is when my actual lead Facebook conversion event pixel is firing. So when they reach this page, it's basically showing that now they are a lead. So with my Facebook conversion ad sets, when they reach this page, now it is sending that data back to Facebook saying that they are now a lead. And this is the page when I'm actually getting their email address. So at this point, I've gotten them as a Facebook messenger. Now I'm about to get them as an email. When they create their account, they're gonna put in their email and then they're gonna create their password. Then they're gonna be brought to the main window right here of the actual mini course. So by the time they've reached this mini course members area, I've now got them in a Facebook Messenger subscriber list. I've got their email from them. They've reached this page, so I've got them in a Facebook custom audience, which shows me that they're a more qualified prospect. Then I have the call to actions right here of subscribing to my YouTube channel or joining the Facebook group. So if they click there to join the Facebook group, then they're brought to this page right here, which we're at nearly 2,500 members. And then if they click here, then they can subscribe to my YouTube videos. So that right there is how you build five assets all at once just by creating this type of funnel. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be a mini course, but that's the way that I found it to work best. Any way that you can figure out how you can sequentially put them to go through a sequence of events basically where they go through your, your first thing that you have them opt into should be your highest priority. So for me, because I'm seeing the biggest open rates with my Facebook Messenger list, that's my number one highest priority where they need to jump into first. Then my second most priority is getting their email address, which is where they actually sign up to create access and create their login. Then the Facebook custom audiences is kind of like a byproduct of just by pushing them through my funnel. And then the Facebook group and the subscribe on YouTube are kind of like my lowest priorities. So down the line, now that they're inside the members area, what I can do is when I create new content, new premium or freemium content, I'm gonna put it inside the mini course and then I'll blast out an email blast, I'll post it in my Facebook group and I'll blast out a Facebook Messenger blast and alert them that, hey, there's new content inside the mini course. They go inside the mini course and they are now able to view that actual free content or premium content. So I definitely recommend that you test around with this type of funnel. It's working great for me. I'm building five assets all at once and soon I'll figure out how to build more assets <laughs> at one time. Um, but yeah, test around with this. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. And if you're interested in joining this free mini course that I have, visit freebosslifestyle.com. It's gonna bring you to this page right here and you can go ahead and opt in and reverse engineer this whole sales funnel. So thanks for watching, peace.